Hey what is up everyone this is Karan here welcome back again to Tech Karan YouTube channel if you are user of Redmi Note 9 S Redmi Note 9 Pro Pro Max or Poco M2 Pro any of these devices Spark OS official version based on Android 12 is out there for your device which has the latest security patch for example 5th of January 2022 and yes we are talking about Android version 12 I made a video on some time ago on Spark OS based on Android 12 which includes very interesting UI changes but yes including that I'm also going to share with you some device specific things so stay tuned for that I'm going to share you my experiences about Spark OS the things which you get in the latest in this latest build some features which are working great safety net camera a lot more things so stay tuned First of all if you move on to the gesture options the gesture navigation if you move on to this gesture settings you have the option to hide the navigation bar pill and keyboard space but i will recommend you to use the option with this pill as you can see the pill is available and you can use a small keyboard navbar magisk module to disable that space but keep that pill and i think so that's a very useful thing i made a video if you want to check it out you can i will try to put the link in the card section so make sure to check out that other options press and hold power menu etc swipe to screenshot which is as expected really quite useful and i think so it's available in most of the custom rooms right now i always use this feature that's present here as expected really including the adaptive playback option moving on to the display section there unfortunately there is no feature in display section if you move on to the display section you don't find any kind of extra options for you but if you move on to the display cutout options you have the option for notch bar killer corner cutout double cutout etc and in my opinion i don't use this thing much i don't think so most of the users will use it but if you if you use these things then the option is available here for you including that if you move on to the lock screen settings you only have the option for ambient display and yes this is available but it has a lcd display so yes i'll not recommend you to use always on display on your device of course if you use the redmi note 10 pro or any other device which has the amoled display then you can now let's just talk about the customizations or ui changes features which you get in the latest spark os for example if you move on to the fireworks section you can see the yellow things and themes if we move on to the theming section here you have some customizations for you for example monet engine as expectedly where you have some options for like you can enable your own color related things if you don't want the wallpaper based theming then the option is available here for you Now we have some lock screen clocks. The the video I made Spark was the previous version. The lock screen clocks were only one or two, and now we have better options for you. You can even customize icon shapes, icon pack, and fonts as expectedly. Leonard, which is one of my favorite fonts out there, you can customize the lock screen clock. You can customize the quick settings clock also. For example, if I have enabled the color OS clock, you can see the quick settings has that clock available for you. If you want to use the USB clock, that option should also work. As you can see, the things are working pretty fine. You have the interactive clock one. I think so. This one should look better, and as expectedly, and I use this clock most of the times. Oxygen OS style clock option also present here for you including that we also have the Spark Clock 3 which you can customize you can see you have better quick settings options available if you compare it with the normal quick settings from other custom rooms you can see Spark Clock 1 2 3 and also on these things which you get in this latest Spark OS including that some customizations in quick settings panel we have everything whatever you need the room which comes with good kind of good amount of customizations features etc you can see animations a lot of things available here for you you can even enable the smart pull down media player in the quick quick settings and a lot more other things if you move on to the lock screen settings as i previously mentioned you have the always on display you have the smart space you have the charging animation if you don't want that you can disable that option and fingerprint related customizations are also present and including that you have the music visualizer if you need this option that is quite useful if you always play songs or audio things on your devices now if you move on to the status bar customizations 4g volti wo wifi icons etc everything is available clock and date related customizations or some customizations in status bar icons if you want to enable those options you can if you don't want to enable some icons you can disable those network traffic monitor of course you don't need any kind of third party app to use this option on your device that option is working pretty fine 
some things which you get in status bar customizations are actually good in gesture section you have the double tap to wake double tap to sleep etc all the useful gestures options present here including that if you move over to the miscellaneous option now you have the heads up related customizations now you have some in call vibration options so as in the terms of customizations this room is one of the best ones out there so power menu related customizations you just saw a screenshot etc the options which you can enable in these options some things which i just wanted to let you know about the theming section or customizations we got that now let's just talk about the default launcher quickly the default launcher is not the pixel launcher it's not the usb launcher it is launcher launcher which you get pre-installed and again yes this supports the material you theming this supports some customizations i made a separate video on launcher launcher if you want to use this launcher launcher in other android 12 based customers how you can i made a video on my english channel or maybe this channel of course and of course on my hindi channel so both the channels i already shared with you the links etc you can go and check it out the camera section if you're talking about the camera is what you get is the google camera go edition you don't have the snap camera you don't have the MIUI camera you have the google camera go edition which is of course a very good choice if you compare it with the snap camera i think so snap camera isn't that good but the google camera go edition is looking better i think so you have better options hd led options the new modded google camera go edition is what you get pre-installed i think so Moving on to some other things, this is of course one of my favorite things out there. You've got unlimited free storage for full resolution photos and videos uploaded from your Pixel device which is of course quite useful and I think so you will definitely love this. This is one of the best things out there in almost every custom wherever you got this feature. Now if you move on to the L1 rated things as if your device supports L1 certificate or not, yes your device supports L1 certificate. As you can see, L1 option is present here for you. If you want to use this option, you can. I think so. It's not a bad deal as if you use Amazon Prime Video, if you use Netflix, etc. on your devices, then you might need this thing and that's present. Including that, if you let's talk, let's talk about the safety net status, what is the safety net status right now? The safety net status is not having any kind of issues. I haven't rooted my device by the way from Magisk. If you want to root your device, you can. You simply need to hide Magisk from settings and you're good to go. But if you don't want to root your device by default, safety status also does not have any kind of issues for you, which means you'll be able to use banking apps on your device. Other things are kind of same in this latest Spark OS. One more thing which I just want to let you know about is the gaming mode, which is called Game Space. You have that separate app available in the app drawer, and this is what we have the gaming mode where you can enable some options. And the gaming mode is, of course, from Exidum UI, which I first saw in Exidum UI Android 11, then I saw in Android 12. And same thing is present in this latest Spark OS, also, which is quite useful. All the things which I just want to let you know, I have already shown you. So yes, if you want to install this build, link is in the description. Installation is same like other custom homes. This is all from today's short and simple video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. And as always, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe me. I'll see you next video. Goodbye. Like I'm floating through the air